It's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and today we're making that viral TikTok cloud bread. And it's really, really simple. It just starts with these ingredients. And honestly, to me, it just kind of seems like you're making a meringue. So really, there's not too much technique here. All you need to do is combine all the ingredients and whip, whip, whip. Now, if you try to hand whisk this, it is going to take you quite a long time. But if you use a stand mixer, it's going to be super, super quick. Whenever you have something that has a base of egg whites and sugar, parchment is imperative or else you're never gonna be able to remove it. If you are a returning viewer, then you know that I love taking these types of recipes and going that little extra step further. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a little teddy bear. Now from all the videos that I've seen of this, I've noticed that the cloud bread does tend to brown on the outside. So I'm just going to leave my teddy bear nice and white because it is going to turn brown in the oven. Now, I think I might have over whipped this slightly because it kind of has that bubbly texture. Some of the cloud breads that I've seen do have this texture and some of them have a little bit more of a glossy finish. So usually when you get this bubbly texture, it's because you've over whipped just a bit. But since this is supposed to be a cloud and a little fuzzy teddy bear, I thought it would be all good anyway. So as you can see, it came out super brown. I airbrushed that cloud to make it go back to white, but I do think if I had just done a lower temperature and for a longer time that that might not have happened and I would have been able to see that blue color come through. I'm just adding a little bit of those fondant details on and then I'm putting a little bit of whipped cream and some sprinkles so that it is a full on dessert masterpiece. I apologize for that weird little bit of camera work. My one year old was shaking my tripod. Going into this, I had no idea what to expect in terms of texture. Now I've had plenty of meringues and pavlovas in my time, and literally this is the same ingredients with just a bit more cornstarch. But honestly, I am shocked at the bread-like texture. That is incredible. And the fact that it uses cornstarch instead of flour is also blowing my mind. The taste is actually quite surprisingly pleasant. It tastes like marshmallows from Lucky Charms cereal, but in bread form. The texture is fabulous. And some people described it as eggy in their videos, but I don't taste that at all. I really, really hope you give this a try. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of this sweetie fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye.